everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. If this is your first time visiting then hello and my name is Rebecca and make sure that you subscribe if you don't already and click that little bell icon so that you will get notified every time I upload a new crochet tutorial. So in this one I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful solid rippling ridged granny square. So when it comes to solid granny squares, personally I like to keep mine quite small and join them together rather than making one large project, simply because I don't know whether it's my tension or what, but mine tend to slightly ripple after a little while and I just don't like that. So I like to keep mine relatively small, 8 or 10 rounds and then join them together. So the rippling ridges are in reference to, I'm hoping the camera is picking picking up that really subtle, gentle texture that we build with this tutorial and with this pattern. So it is done using regular trebles and post trebles. So I'm changing colour every two rounds as you can see. And yeah, I'm just really hoping that that camera is picking up that really gentle texture. It's not something that's gonna jump out and bite you on the nose when it comes to the texture, but it is there and it is really, really beautiful. As I say, I'm really hoping that the camera picks that up nicely for you. So I'm just using a mixture of Shapies and Stylecraft DK. Um, I will leave information in the description box, but we're just gonna go straight in with this beautiful granny square. So you're gonna start with your slip knot on your hook and you're going to do a chain four. So yarn over, pull through, it's one, two, three and four and then you're going to insert your hook into this first chain right next to your slip knot and slip stitch so yarn over and pull through both of those loops and that gives us a little centre circle here to work our stitches. You want to chain two and that is going to count as your first treble so remember I'm using UK terms here so all of these treble stitches that you will hear throughout this project just remember these are your doubles in US stitches. You now want to pop another two trebles back into that centre ring, so yarn over, insert into your centre circle, yarn over and pull up, and you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, so we want another one. So again, yarn over, back into that centre circle, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is our first set of trebles. So we've got three trebles there now. You want to chain two to create a corner space and then back into your centre ring you're going to put three more trebles. So one, two and three chain two to create your next corner and you're going to do two more sets of your trebles. So if you just do a next set of three trebles, chain two and another set of three trebles and I will meet you in just a second. Okay so at this point you want to make sure you remember to do your final chain two and then we're going to close off for this round with a slip stitch to the top of that chain two. So insert your hook into the top of your chain two and slip stitch, so yarn over, pull through both. So that is the very beginning of your granny square. So I'm going to be doing two rounds of each colour. So at this point I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to slip stitch back into that chain space. So I'm going to slip stitch back into that corner space. I'm going to chain two, which again counts as our first treble of the round and then one treble back into that corner space, so into the corner chain two space, I do a treble. I'm now going to do a front post treble around this next stitch. So around this very first treble, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go around the back of that treble and out the other side, yarn over and pull up. You need to keep this nice and loose and pull it nice and tall so that's the same height as your other trebles. And then just complete your treble as normal. So we yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So that has worked around the front of that stitch. 
You then want to do a normal treble into the top of the middle treble, so yarn over, insert into the middle treble, go through the whole of the stitch and then complete your treble. And then again we're going to do a front post treble around the final treble on this side, so yarn over around the back of that final stitch, yarn over and pull up, again pull nice and tall and complete your treble. We then want to work our corner space, so our corner space is always going to be two trebles, chain two to create your new corner and then two trebles back in the same space, so one and two. And then you're just going to repeat what we've just done, so we've got three trebles, so you're going to front post treble around the first one, always pull up nice and tall and then normal treble into the top of the middle treble and front post around that final treble pulling up tall. If you don't pull your stitches up nice and tall you will find that your work will bunch up and then spread out towards the corners which you don't want so keep it nice and loose and pull them nice and tall. Create your new corner so two trebles chain two, never forget your chain two, and then two trebles again back into your same space. And then you're ready to complete those final two sides and I will meet you as you get back to where we started. I'm just completing my final front post treble around that very last stitch from the previous round. And then we just need to finish off this corner. So we did start it but now we need to finish it. So into that final chain two space, you're going to put your final two trebles to finish off this corner. Make sure you do your final chain two and then slip stitch to the top of that chain two from the start of the round. So that is how you should be looking at this point. You can see we are starting to build a little bit of texture but it will become more obvious the further up we go. Now if you're using a continuous variegated yarn or something at this point you would just turn your work, slip stitch back into that corner space and chain two. However I'm changing colour so I'm going to chain one and snip off and then I'm just going to pull that tail out and tighten up. I'm still going to turn and then I'm going to grab my next colour. So I have my slip knot on my hook and I'm going to just yarn over and hold my stitch and then into any chain two corner space make sure that you've turned your granny so at this point you should not have any post stitches facing you, it should just look like a regular granny from this side. And then insert into your chain two space, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through two yarn over, pull through two, so that is a standing treble. So like I say, if you'd been carrying on with the same yarn you would have just slip stitched into this space and chained two, however we've got a standing stitch instead. One more treble back into that same corner space, so we will finish this corner as we get back round. And now we're not going to work any post stitches this round, so it's like a two round repeat really. So this time we're just going to do trebles all the way along, so into the top of every stitch you're going to put a treble crochet. So yarn over, make sure you go through the whole of the stitch each time and just do one treble into every single stitch all the way along. So once you get to your corner space you will do your corner as normal with your two trebles. chain two and two trebles back in that same space and then again one treble in every stitch all the way across and then two trebles, chain two, two trebles in your corner space. So if you complete that and I will meet you once you get back to where we started at the beginning of this round. I'm just ready to do my final two trebles into my last corner space chain two and then finish with a slip stitch. You'll either be finishing into the top of a standing stitch or a chain two depending what you did at the start of the round. 
that is how you should be looking. We're going to turn our work again. And slip stitch back into your corner space and chain two, which will be our first treble of the round and then one treble into that corner space. Now you have a decision to make here. You can either choose to have it so that your post stitches all line up with each other and run all the way along as you go up or you can choose to offset them so that they sort of zigzag as you go up. It is completely up to you what you choose. So if you want them to be all lined up so that they run in a straight line up your work. So you will front post treble around the first stitch, normal treble in the next, front post, normal, front post, normal, front post, so on and so forth. However, if you're going to offset them, which is what I plan to do, you will go normal treble, then front post, normal, front post, normal. So it just depends whether you want them all in a line or if you want to offset. So I'm going to do a normal treble in my first stitch, as I say, because I'm going to offset mine and then front post around the next. Pull up nice and tall. I know I keep saying that, but it's so important so that your work stays nice and flat. Normal treble in the next. Front post around the next. And again, you'll just work that all the way across to your corner space. So if you've chosen to offset, you will finish with a normal treble However, if you've chosen to run in a straight line, you will finish with a front post on that final stitch. Corner space, so you'll do your two trebles, chain two, and two trebles back in the same space. Okay, and then again, do your side however you've chosen to do it on this side. Repeat that all the way around. Again, make sure you finish with two trebles a final chain two and then slip stitch to the top of your first stitch of the round again I'm going to change colour so I'm going to yarn over pull through and snip off I'm going to show you that repeat one final time but after that hopefully you will be able to just crack on with your project until it's however big you want it to be. So again I'm going to turn, make sure you've got your back of your work facing you and then yarn over and hold and then just join into any corner space, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. Obviously if you were continuing with your same colour as last time you would just slip stitch back into your chain space and chain two one treble back in that same corner space and then this is a round of just normal trebles so one treble into every stitch all the way along and as always your corner space will be two trebles chain two and two trebles back in that same space So if you continue that for this round and I will meet you back as you get to the other side. So always make sure that you finish with your final two trebles into that last corner space because obviously we only did half at the beginning. Do your final chain two and slip stitch to the top of that first stitch. Okay so again turn your work and slip stitch back to your corner space, chain two and one treble in that space. And then again at this point it's whether you choose to have them running in a straight line. If you were doing them all in a straight line you will front post around the first stitch or if you're offsetting them like me you will do normal treble then a front post. So it just depends what you chose to do. And you will just complete that as you go round and then normal treble in the next front post around the next and then again your corner spaces will always be two trebles chain two two trebles 
So I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful and do remember to subscribe and also give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and remember to come back again, click that little bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video and I will see you for another tutorial really soon. But thank you as always for watching and bye for now.